Ready? Yep. We are making Sujay Bidi today. One of my favorite things that reminds me of my childhood. And I'd say like a lot of Koreans would say this because it gives you like the warm fuzzies inside, I like to say. So basically Sujay Bidi is a soup with hand-torn noodles and it's like very hearty, it's warm. When it's cold and rainy out, this is like what you want to eat. I feel like the most important part of Sujay Bidi besides the noodles is the broth. Normally, it's uh, made in an anchovy broth, like a fish broth, but you can make it with chicken broth, beef broth, anything you want. But I feel like since it is a soup, the broth is the heart of the dish. And for me, a really good dashi is the most important thing. One of the other great things about a really good dashi is that um, it's really quick to make. Like some stocks, it takes hours and hours. Dashi, 20, 30 minutes, you got good stock. So a really good dashi always starts with really, really good mirchi. So mirchi is dried anchovies. And these really large ones are made for the soup. And there's like tiny ones, there's like all different types of anchovies uh, in Korea. But these large ones are great for stock. That will, we'll just add that straight in here. I also love to add dried shiitake mushrooms. It's one of my favorite ingredients to use because it, it gives so much umami to any broth or soups or stir fries. And then I have some shallots. Any um, veg scraps, I love to use and it, it doesn't matter what you use. I just, I'm just using these vegetables because I had it in my fridge. Like I had like a half a pepper lying around. So I'm like, oh, I'll just add that to my stock. I have some outer leaves of Napa celery, garlic, and with garlic, I just like adding it whole. And then this is also one of my favorite things to add. It's um, dried pepper seeds, and in Korean, it's called gochushi. Obviously, if you don't have it, that's totally fine too. It's kind of spicy, but it's spicy in the back of your throat. It's not like a forward spice. So I always like adding this to stock. Okay, that's it. We'll just go put this on the stove. It'll simmer for about 20, 30 minutes. All right, so let's talk about the sujebito. Classically, it's just flour and water, a little bit of salt, just like a very simple dough. But I like making my life difficult, so I like making two types of doughs. So the two types I'm making, one, I'm just gonna make the classic flour, and that consistency, it's super chewy. I'm also gonna make another dough with potato. I'm gonna add potato in there, and I thought of this because I thought of like gnocchi. I love the pillowy softness of gnocchi. That texture is really unique. Let's start with our potato dough. I have a potato that I wrapped in a wet paper towel, stuck it in the microwave five minutes, and it's like the quickest way to steam a potato. So we're gonna just peel this. I just like give it a quick mash. And then we'll get a cup of our wheat flour, salt, a teaspoon of sesame oil, and then some water. And with the water, you wanna start with just a little bit and just keep adding because if your dough is too wet in the beginning, it's a little bit difficult to keep adding flour. So start small and then you can keep adding. And then we're just gonna wrap this and let it rest for about 20, 30 minutes.
now let's get to the ingredients that are going into the soup. Um, I'd say you can pretty much use any vegetables you want. Uh, classically, I love adding zucchini because my grandmother used to do that. And of course, we're making kimchi sujebi, so kimchi. And, and then I have like um, a pepper, I have some garlic, I have some genni, perilla leaves, um, just because that is what was in my fridge. Slice it on a bias, probably like julienne, nice julienne. Now let's get ready to strain the broth and make our soup. So I have my broth. It's strained, nice and beautiful. You can see like the deep brown color from the anchovies and the mushrooms. I'm just gonna add this to my pot. And from here, we're just adding our veggies. All right, so at this point, when it's simmering, we wanna season the broth before we add the noodles in. To keep the integrity of the noodle, we wanna eat it pretty much like right after it's cooked. So right now, we're gonna season the broth. Obviously, you wanna start with some salt. I love adding fish sauce. And then also I have gukkanjang. So this is basically soy sauce that's made for like soups. And some fresh pepper. Wow, that's so good. Now, this is the moment of truth, the fun part. And this part is so fun to do with like your kids or your friends or whoever's around because the more hands the better because the faster you tear the dough, the faster you can eat. You can tell after it's rested, all the gluten has have uh, released, so it's like nice and stretchy. And then what you do is you grab it with both hands and you're sort of like forming this like thin hand-torn noodles. The thinner you can get it, the better. We are ready to plate, all right? Mmm, that one's definitely the potato one. It's like soft and pillowy. Mmm, 